Welcome to the TASM 2019-2020 High School Virtual Awards Assembly. Today's program will include remarks honoring the TASM class of 2020. We will also recognize the TASM staff for their contributions to the success of our students this year. Our teachers will then present the awards and recognition certificates for our students' achievements during the 2019-2020 school year. Mr. Schaefer will join us to bid farewell to five teachers that are departing from the high school this year. And we'll finish with some closing remarks about our year. As we honor the TASM class of 2020, we are in fact honoring the learning that happened, the growth that happened, the contributions of all members of our community to the 2019-2020 school year. To honor our seniors, I'd like to tell a short story. Well, in fact, I think I'll just tell the foreword to the story. Here are the cast of characters in our story. There are 42 of them. We might learn about two more characters in this story a bit later. These 42 characters begin in the upper left with Leith Al Abri. And we proceed in alphabetical order by last name across the first row, across the second row, across the third row, and finally across the fourth row. And we finish with Manny Zhang in the bottom right corner. Next to Laith, just to the right, we find Fatma. Just to the right of Fatma, we find Manar, and then Reem. As you proceed across that first row, we finish with Nathan Allison at the far right. The second row begins with Suchitra. As you proceed across right in the middle, you find Pablo and here, two students that have been at Tazem since EC1. If you're counting, that's 15 years ago. And just to their right, you find Ananya. She started at Tazem in EC2. Josh Green is at the far right in row two. Row three begins with Antonia and then Malik. As you proceed across row three, we finish with Owen Pearson at the far right. Josh Pember starts row four, followed by Mustafa and Emily. You'll see in the middle, Muhammad Sultan. And as I said earlier, we finish at the far right with Manny Zhang. You'll have to piece together some of the other characters in this story. You'll hear about them later. Another way to think about these characters is just how long have they been here? How long have they been a part of this story? Well, we see that Pablo in here started back in EC1. That's 15 years ago. Ananya started in EC2. And we'll notice in KG, we've got Ida, we've got Dandy, and we've got Mustafa. You can find your son, your daughter, your friends, as we proceed across, you'll notice that in grade eight, Nathan, Suchitra, and Muhammad started at Tazem. Just this year, Manny, Fatma, and Reem joined Tazem for grade 12. The real story of this, this class, this graduation year, began in August, 2019. The start of this year, the grade 12 class had a senior retreat, a day of learning and preparation for the year ahead. And we finished that day with a Dow cruise. The seniors were joined that day by Miss Woods, Mr. Nicholas, Miss Knudsen, Miss Kelly, Mr. Levisser, Miss Pinto, and Mr. Glenns. On that day, one of the central aspects of this class was discussed by the teachers. They described this class 
is incredibly coherent and connected and caring and supportive of one another. As we sat and we marveled at their energy, jumping into the water, doing backflips, supporting one another, laughing and enjoying one, everyone's company, we knew that it was gonna be a very positive year for this group. It was right about that time as well that in a senior class assembly, we asked the students what they were looking forward to this year, what they were worried about, what was on their mind. And in that senior assembly, one student spoke up about her fears. And that was Nadine. And Nadine said on that day that she wasn't worried about this year because she knew that when things got tough, she would have her classmates to lean on, that they would be there for her. And she used the expression, we will be in this together. And that became the motto for the year. And little did we know at that time how important it would be to us. As the year progressed, this group did a number of things together. You can see images of their time at TASM this year and in past years, building those relationships, establishing that trust in one another, believing that they could get through the toughest of times together. And that bonding that occurred, that belief in one another, that trust became even more important when this massive avalanche called COVID-19 came into our lives at the end of 2019 and rolled into 2020. And the middle of March, when school-based learning transitioned to virtual learning, we knew that a number of things stood in the way of that avalanche. These would be events and activities and moments together that would be lost. They would be replaced by different ways of connecting, by different challenges, by new ways of needing to solve problems and to connect and to forge a bright future together. The avalanche hit. School-based learning was discontinued, and on March 16th, we transitioned to virtual learning. These 42 students, in their own unique ways, have risen to the occasion and responded with strength, with character, and with a care for one another that was evident from the beginning. They've supported one another. They've reached out to help for help to their teachers and their counselors. They sought the support of their families, their parents, their siblings, and their friends. And they've continued to grow. Over the last three weeks, I was able to ask these students, TASM class of 2020, to reflect on their experiences while at TASM. In these circumstances, Given the experiences they've had, I ask them the question, in what ways have you been most impacted by your experiences at TASM? And here's what they had to say. In response to this question, the students in the TASM class of 2020 spoke about these six things. They talked about staying present in the moment and appreciating what they have, being tolerant and open-minded and valuing diversity. They spoke about discovering and developing their passions and the importance of academic freedom and learning. They spoke about family and friends, and sometimes friends become just like family. They talked about values and caring and, and making the world a better place for all. And they spoke significantly about voice, confidence and courage, and developing the capacity to speak my mind. 
Now let's look at these in a little bit more detail. In particular, Josh Green and Nanya and Reem value what it means to say, stay present in the moment and learn from the experiences at that time, to not worry about the past, not anticipate the future too much, but to value the moment and learn from that experience. Jorge Suchitra, Muhammad Daniel, and Tonia spoke about how they had been transformed in their time at Taysom to becoming more tolerant, more open-minded, and appreciating the opportunity to, to learn about diversity, not just in country of origin, but in ways of thinking and in valuing systems. Yosef, Nathan, Shreya, Malik, Luis, AJ and Arjun spoke about the learning that happened for them, the transformation that happened as they became more committed to learning. In some cases, to finding passions in the learning realm that did not exist for them before. Many of our students, not just these, but particularly Dandy, Manny, Josh Pember, Anna, here, Julia, Arathi, and Mustafa spoke deeply about the importance of family and friends and that this developed for them while at Taysom. Now, perhaps this happened outside of school as well, but they recognized that at Taysom, close relationships are valued. Attending to the social and emotional needs of one another is important in our academic pursuits. And they recognized that this is something that developed for them while they were at Taysom. We have many students, but particularly Abdullah, Tom, Owen, Ida, Muthla, Manar, Eric, Sanad, Fatma, and Kalindi, who spoke about values and ethics and the importance of caring and doing things with one's life to make the world a better place for everyone. These students spoke passionately about their commitment to making the world a better place throughout their lives, not just in the future, but they've been doing it already. And the sixth area of significance, which in fact cuts across all 42 of our seniors, is that they have seen at Taysom the opportunity for them to develop their voice, to develop confidence and courage, they recognize that in their classes, their teachers at Taysom have encouraged them to speak their mind, to have an opinion, to stand up for themselves, and to develop their voice in the process of learning. And that is the impact they said that Taysom has had on them. Now, this final point about developing voice, I want to highlight two particular characters in this story, not because they're unique, but because the messages they shared with me resonated very strongly with a particular concept. The concept is that of becoming, a forward-looking idea. I am a being now, and I am moving forward, becoming something new. And those two students, you recognize likely three characters on this slide. Two of them are Taysom students. One of them, I imagine you recognize. The fourth character may be someone new to you. You might not recognize her, but my hunch is you will recognize the name. It may surprise you. But these four characters speak significantly to this idea of becoming. Alia, what did she have to say? She said that when I started at Taysom, I was really shy. But through my experiences making friends, I became connected with other students of all ages. This was especially true on the track team, where I learned how to be a leader and listen to other people's stories where I develop the confidence to know that whatever happens, I won't be alone and I'll figure it out. This is the voice of someone 
committed to a future that's very positive. This character in our story, the one that the start of the year in the senior assembly commented on that she wasn't afraid of the year ahead because she knew she wouldn't be alone either. She said, I am now able to accept and grow from my academic setbacks. And I know that working hard leads to my success. Confidence has to come from yourself, she said from me. And for me, confidence is helping me become the best version of myself. This will help me in the future to be at peace and at ease with myself. These two characters, and as I said, there were 42 plus perhaps two more. Let's hear from those two additional characters that join our story. Michelle Obama, she recently read a book. She recently wrote a book, sorry about that. It's a book I'd recommend that you read. She says in her book, for me, becoming isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously toward a better self. The journey doesn't end. That's what our senior said. Now let's meet this additional new character, the 44th character in our story. Each one of us has to start out with developing his or her own definition of success. And when we have these specific expectations of ourselves, we're more likely to live up to them. Ultimately, it's not what you get or even what you give. It's what you become. As we come to the end of this story, we recognize that it truly is just the foreword to a story that is not yet written. The idea of becoming is one that is very forward thinking. As you look to the future, I asked those of you in the class of 2020, and in fact, all of you in the high school, what choices will you make what impacts will you have? Who will you come to be as you take control of the future that lies ahead of you and you are empowered to become that person that you want to be? Alia said, I have learned to define my own path. Nadine said, I never want to stop growing. These are two messages about a very optimistic, growth-oriented story that lies ahead about becoming something more than we are today. To the Tazem class of 2020, I am grateful for what I'm learning from you. I am truly humbled by the growth that you have shown and the contributions you have made to our community in the time that I've known you. You are a very tight-knit group. You do support one another tremendously. And with that support and with that commitment that you have, I am inspired by the possibilities and by the mystery of who you are becoming. Maya Angelou, your words will stay with us forever. We will remember you because of the way that you made us feel. 
the staff at Tazem, this is true. We will not forget you because of the way you made us feel. From the nurse's office to the director's office, from the security team to the IT department and the curriculum department, in our business office and public relations, to the gardeners and the OIG team and the electricians that support our school, to Crafty Kitchen and the maintenance department. Our school year is possible because of the efforts and the care of all members of our school community. For our students in the high school on a daily basis, it is these teachers that allow them to feel safe and secure and connected when they come to school. Learning can happen more effectively, effectively we know, when our students feel safe and secure. I want to express my gratitude to the staff, to the teachers, to the team in the high school that during the 2019-2020 school year supported our students. This is especially true given the move to virtual learning and the uncertainty associated with the coronavirus. It has taken additional care, additional effort to connect with students and families during this time to show that support that we know is so important to the learning for our students. Thank you to the staff and to the teachers for the effort they put in this year to support student learning in the high school. Good day, everybody. I hope you all are safe and well. And I want to start out the award today for the High School Student Council Award. In recognition and appreciation of your dedication, leadership, and commitment as a member of the High School Student Council. So first, I would like to award the executive members. Our President, Leif, Vice President, Georgi, the Treasurer, Yosef, and the Secretary, Shreya. Let's give them a round of applause, please. And next, we have our class representatives. For grade nine, we had Soph, Katya, and Neela. Grade 10, Yosef and Sean. Grade 11, Hisham and Akrit. And grade 12, Manar and Emily. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> you guys did a great job this year. Thank you. Good morning. The recipients of this award have demonstrated not only outstanding leadership, but also initiative, thinking outside the box and have clearly gone above and beyond to serve the community. This year, the awards go to Kalindi Kapadia and Kaylin McWilliams. Congratulations and thank you. Many students participated in service opportunities this year. They were mostly during weekends. I'd like to take a moment to recognize some of these students. They are Amani Zawawi, Layan Dasan, Kaylin McWilliams, and Krisha Suri. Thank you. Last but not the least, I would like to recognize our seniors, some of them who have been a part of this program since ninth grade. They are Abdullah Khaduri, Mutlal Busaidi, Heer Chandar, Aida Emin Kahia Gil, Kalindi Kapadia, Arjun Bai, Muhammad Sultan, and Aryan Toprani. Thank you very much. You will be missed. Thank you. Hello. 
This was the fifth year of the High School Student Ambassador Program, and I would like to say a special thanks to the ambassadors who represented TASEM in orienting new students to the school and assisting parents and students at a variety of school-wide events. In addition, many of these students played key roles in helping with our Grade 8 to 9 transition program. In Grade 9, Asuka Alfadili, Lily Costablanco, Nayla Jasmine, Shrey Jenna, and Yasin Sharif. In Grade 10, Julia Belgrado, Neve Kosker, and Sarah Hassan. In Grade 11, Shama Albalushi, Tareem Al Shamfari, Maram Al Busaidi, Amani El Zawawi, Julie Clark, Leon Dasan, Deborah Effion, Hayan Jun, Fallon Johnson, Nika Lee Warner, Kaylin McWilliams, Manal Nasser Said, Amelia Pacheco, Zoe Pereira, and Krisha Suri. In addition, I would like to offer a special thanks to our seniors Lathal Abri, Manar Al Azmi, Alia Al Muhari, Nadine Al Casey, Antonio Grosso, Shreya Sharma, Emily Serna, Yoship Shin, and AJ Chaprani. We will miss you, seniors. Thanks to all of these great student leaders. This is the fourth year of the high school help desk program for middle school students. I would like to recognize the following students who met weekly in the MSLC to provide support through homework help and tutoring to middle school students. In grade nine, Soph Corey. In grade 10, Julia Belgrado. In grade 11, Akrit Gokul and Nika Lee Warner and in grade 12, Nadine Alcasey. Thanks to all of you so much. Marhaba. The recipient of the Arabic as a Foreign Language Award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment to communicating in Arabic, as well as an appreciation of the Arabic culture. He has pursued the study of Arabic with enthusiasm and has maintained a consistently high level of performance in all aspects of the course throughout the years. This year, the award goes to Averett Mouvan Waveran. Shukran. The recipient of the Arabic as a Heritage Language Award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment to communicating in Arabic as well as an appreciation of Arabic culture. He has studied Arabic with enthusiasm and his level of performance is always of the highest quality. This year, the award goes to Mohammed Sultan. Hello, my name is Mr. Nicholas. I'm here to uh, present the award for Outstanding Accomplishments in the Visual Arts. The artist who receives the award for Visual Arts has demonstrated a commitment to creating a prolific body of images that exemplifies thought and skillful application in a variety of media. This year, the award goes to Daniel Bekele. Thank you. Heartfelt greetings to the entire TASEM community and especially our 2020 graduating class. Each year, the recipient of the TASEM Choral Music Award has demonstrated exceptional and heartfelt leadership throughout their time at our school. They have had to dig deep to develop their skills and during the process, they learned to lead with sincerity, accountability, and enthusiasm. This student rose to dozens of op opportunities to present alone or perform in small groups and never gave up if something didn't go as planned. She qualified for AMI International Honor Choir several times. Her daily choices resonate Tazem's philosophy of lifelong learning. 
Above all, she has served as a humble leader, a humble mentor, truly inspiring others both in practice and in performance, sharing her exemplary skills, passion, and determination with wholehearted generosity. The 2020 Choral Music Outstanding Award goes to Ananya Chala. Congratulations, Ananya. Be well. The recipients of the Drama Award have shown excellence in acting and have been committed to the theater program over the course of their time at Taysom. Starting in middle school, they both have been active in the extracurricular program through acting and assisting in technical theater. Each have had lead roles in both class performances and on the Bosch stage and have shown humility and dedication when working in the ensemble. They each have also been members of the advanced drama class from 10th through 12th grade and have demonstrated tremendous growth in their talents. This year, the awards go to Emily Serna and Josh Green. And now on to the English Award. The recipient of this English Award has demonstrated exceptional ability in all skill areas, reading, analysis, writing, speaking, listening, and responding to peers. This, this recipient has also been a consistently high quality worker, has written high quality work, has committed to self-improvement and increasing his or her abilities in analyzing literature, has positive participation and productivity in class activities, and is an avid reader and is an author in her own right. This year's English award goes to Shreya Sharma. The recipient of the French award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment to communicating in French and has also shown an expanded appreciation of the French culture and civilization. This particular student has pursued the study of French with high enthusiasm and dedication as she has always maintained a consistent high level of performance in all aspects of the course throughout the year. This year, the award goes to Nadine al -Kaisi. Outstanding work. The Instrumental Music Award is given to an instrumentalist who has demonstrated outstanding musicianship through solo and group performances. This individual has given their time and talent unselfishly toward the betterment of the Tazen Band program. They have been consistent in their leadership and service to others in the ensemble and have a history of involvement in the Tazen Band program. They have set the standard for achievement in their ensembles. This year, two students have truly gone above and beyond striving for excellence in the Tazen Bands. This year, our award goes to Achintia and Ananya Gaula. I am Thomas Yates, and this year's math award goes out to a young lady who has impressed all of us here at Thaisen. She shows us what a true math thinker is about. She started her years off with geometry, and she even ended with self-studying AP statistics. I cannot tell you how proud I am of this young lady because she has used every setback as a growing chance. It is with true honor that I present this year's math award to Kalindi Kapai. The recipients of Excellence in Physical Education Award have demonstrated advanced competency in a variety of movement forms. These people have demonstrated and maintains a high level of physical fitness while exhibiting a self-motivated, physically active lifestyle. In addition, these people are inclusive and supportive in both competitive and recreational settings and seek to achieve the best possible performance for each individual team. I am proud to announce that the awards go to Alia Albulgari and Mustafa Kaiser. Congratulations.
The recipient of the Life Science Award is a student who exhibits a genuine interest in biology and the natural world and demonstrates this interest beyond the confines of the classroom. This student has displayed authentic scientific curiosity by seeking to develop a more meaningful understanding of biological concepts. For example, this year's recipient has interned at the Indian Agricultural Research Institute performing work on plant growth promoting bacteria. Additionally, she has prepared research papers for our AP biology class on how anesthetics work, the efficacy of different cancer treatments, and an analysis of cystic fibrosis genetics. This year, the award goes to Shreya Sharma. The recipients of the Physical Science Award demonstrate genuine interest in physical science. These students display critical analysis and independent thinking in dealing with scientific problems and are able to draw connections between material covered in class and experiences and observations made beyond the classroom. This year, the award goes very deservingly to Achintya and Ananya Gahala. The recipient for the Outstanding Student in Social Studies Award exemplifies the highest degree of responsibility, motivation, and intellectual effort. The candidate for this award must actively engage in class discussions, produce high quality academic work, and demonstrate a passion for the study of history, geography, political science, and or international affairs. This year's recipient's passion for politics and international affairs is simply boundless. One day we may find him sitting in a green bench in Westminster, fighting hard on behalf of his constituents. This year, the award goes to Tom Wilson. The recipient of the Spanish award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment to communicating in Spanish, as well an appreciation of Spanish culture. She has studied Spanish with enthusiasm and her level of performance is always of the highest quality. The Spanish award this year goes to Krisha Suri. The recipient of the Technical Theater Award has been dedicated to learning about all areas of technical theater and has specialized in one or two of the following areas. Stage management, lighting, set construction, sound, costuming, and stage makeup. The recipient this year has been a member of the technical crew of all theater productions throughout his time at TASM. He has been a member of the technical theater class for three years and works on set construction for class and stage performances. He has been a student assistant for middle school drama classes and a tech assistant with Mr. Lovett in the Bosch Center. He knows all of the ins and outs of running both the performance hall and the Bosch Center for the performing arts. This year, the award goes to Eric Veroli. Hello. The recipient of this award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment and ability in the area of technology. He has shown evidence of logical and independent thinking, a willingness to go through many processes of trial and error, use problem-solving skills, and showed perseverance while working on accomplishing tasks. He's made connections between concepts worked on in class and combined different elements to create something new and of a higher standard than a typical class project. This year, the Technology Award goes to jong Yup Kim. It is an honor to recognize the contributions that Suchitra Ambudipudi and Nathan Allison have made to our school community this year. As co-editors responsible for the organization, creation and production of the 2019-2020 high school yearbook, their work was exceptional. Their creativity and energy also produced this year's literary magazine Fioritura. In their work on these projects that benefit our entire community, they demonstrated the following.
positive leadership when working with others, a commitment to fulfilling their responsibilities, the creative initiative to explore new ideas and follow them through to their completion, a collaborative spirit in working with and assisting others, an attention to detail to make the high school yearbook and literary magazine reflect the highest in production standards. Congratulations to Chitra and Nathan in being recognized as the recipients of the award in publications and yearbook for the 2019-2020 school year. Outstanding student athletes. In order to celebrate the growth, development, and achievement of students who participate in our varsity level athletics program, we recognize outstanding student athletes based on the following criteria. The student athlete is currently in grades 11 or 12. The student athlete has participated on at least two varsity level teams over the two years of grades 11 and 12, with at least one of the teams being during the current year. The student athlete demonstrates leadership on and off the field through their positive attitude, strong work ethic, and effective communication skills. The student athlete shows dedication to the sport and to the team through their consistent attendance and their passion to improve. And the student athlete maintains a high level of character and positive attitude toward their teammates, the opposition, and the game. Please join me in congratulating Alia Almagheri, Marin Lee, Owen Pearson, and Dandy Isdiwan for earning the distinction of being an outstanding student athlete this year. The Principal's Award is given each year to a student who has contributed in significant ways to achieving the school's mission and core beliefs, including the TASM Learner Profile. This year's recipient has demonstrated excellence in the classroom, as well as contributed to and provided leadership in multiple areas of our co-curricular program. He has performed on the stage in drama productions and choir concerts, and he has been a leader on the volleyball court, basketball court, and the soccer field. His commitment to serving others is exemplary, and he embodies our mission to be ethical, responsible, and a globally conscious lifelong learner. I am proud to recognize Owen Pearson as the recipient of this year's Principal's Award. Congratulations, Owen. The Academic Excellence Award is presented to seniors who have achieved highest honors during their 11th and 12th grade years. In order to achieve highest honors, students have to achieve an overall average GPA above 4.0 during these two years. This year, eight students achieved this level of academic excellence. Congratulations on your achievement. Laith Alabri, Nathan Allison, Suchitra Ambudipudi, Georgi Berndt, Ananya Chawla, Flavio Dandy Izdiwan, Owen Pearson, and Shreya Sharma. Congratulations to the eight of you. The Master of Ceremony for the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 was determined through an audition process of interested 12th grade students who were at TASM during their 11th and 12th grade years and who earned an average GPA of 3.33 during this time or higher. The Master of Ceremony 
for the graduation ceremony this year is Nathan Allison. Congratulations, Nathan. The graduation speaker for the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020 was determined through an audition process of interested students who were at TASM in their 11th and 12th grade years and who earned highest academic honors during this time. Stated otherwise, they earned a GPA of 4.0 or higher in grades 11 and 12. The graduation speaker for graduation this year is Ananya Chawla. Congratulations, Ananya. Outstanding Senior Award. The recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award has distinguished him or herself through academic achievement, participation in a variety of extracurricular activities, significant contributions to the Tazen community, leadership, and character during his or her junior and senior years at Tazen. The criteria for the scholarship is as follows. Academic achievement, as evidenced by grades, awards, scholarships, or projects. To be eligible for the award, a student must have a cumulative GPA of at least 3.3 during his or her junior year and the first three quarters of their senior year participation in a variety of extracurricular activities, service to the TASM community and or beyond in which the student's initiative and participation have made a significant contribution, leadership that distinguishes the student as a positive role model of mature and responsible behavior, character as demonstrated by a high degree of personal integrity and respect for others, the recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award is Laith Alabri. Congratulations, Laith. It has been a good year, a year of challenges, a year of challenges overcome. I want to especially thank the high school teachers and the high school office staff, including in our counseling office, Ms. Kelly, Ms. Knudsen, and Ms. Hopner as well as Ms. Zarita, who helps it make me make it through every day with a smile on my face. To our grade nine, 10, and 11 students, well done this year. There's still work to be done, however. I know that some of your assess summative assessments were due in the last two days, but you still have things to complete for the remainder of the year. Good luck with those assignments and those projects. To our seniors, Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you for all of your efforts this year. And as we've noted, we will be following your journey as you move forward, writing the rest of that story, as you become the people that you will become and contribute to making the world a better place. There are certificates and awards for you to pick up Ms. Zarita, Ms. Saldana will communicate with you and your family. If you're returning to TASM next year, then you will likely need to pick up your certificate, your award at the start of next year. However, for seniors, many of you will be returning your cap and gown, or you can arrange another time with Ms. Saldana to pick up your awards and certificates. If you are not returning to TASM next year, then there is a process that will be set up through Ms. Seymour for you to come to school to return items. And at that time, you would be able to pick up your certificates and your awards. The recipient of this award has demonstrated an outstanding commitment and ability in the area of technology. He has 
have shown evidence of logical and independent thinking, a willingness to go through many processes of trial and error, use problem-solving skills, and show perseverance while working on accomplishing tasks. Has also made connections between concepts worked on in class and combined different elements to create something new and of a higher standard than a typical class project. This year's Technology Award goes to Jong Yeop Kim.